All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. As you can see, I'm back in England for a couple of weeks and I've got quite a few beers to get into. And that's even before I've gone beer shopping on my own. I came back to a whole range of beers that uh, my mum's been picking up over the past few months. Uh, they're not exactly the freshest, of course, but um, I tried a Dunkel Festa last night, uh, which was released around Halloween. Really nice, actually, really nice malty. You got coffee notes. Of course I'll be doing a review of the other bottle that I've got. Um, you've probably already seen the update video that I did. But um, yeah, today's beer is from Witchwood and uh, yeah, big fan of Witchwood and this is the uh, Firecracker, a dazzling golden beer with eagle maltings, which I think is either a hop or a malt, I'm not too sure. Um, I have seen reviews of this but that was a while ago. Can't really remember what people have said about it. Um, I'll quickly read you what it says on the back. The warming hints of honeyed nectar will spark the intense and sharp gooseberry flames. A refreshing, crisp catch smouldering in citrus aromas that will leave you glowing inside. Uh, yeah, it contains barley, malt and wheat, blah blah blah, t-shirt offer, 3.5% in a 500ml bottle. And uh, yeah, it seems like a perfect summer session beer. As you can see, the beer's already opened because this is take two. Uh, God forbid that I try and do a beer review while I'm back home. And uh, yeah, I haven't tasted it yet, so I've still got a full glass. And uh, yeah, in terms of colour, that's like a nice, slightly, you know, and caramel's just starting to form in a pan. But yeah, nice, honey, golden, slight hints of orange. I have to apologise about the uh, bike noises outside. We've got some proper scallies who live around here. But um, yeah, beer looks really nice. Crystal clear. Uh, nice amount of carbonation. Nice slow and steady up the glass. And uh, yeah, the beer poured with about one finger's worth of head, but it's dissipated really quickly actually. So um, yeah, it's a nice golden looking beer. And sometimes with beers like this, they look like piss weak, if you get what I mean. But this actually has some depth to it. Um, it looks a bit darker on camera than it does in real life. But yeah, holding up to the light, which by the way, I apologise for squinting. I'm sat right in front of the window. And it's uncharacteristically sunny here in England. Uh, but yeah, nice golden colour. Uh, so yeah, let's give it a sniff. And it is really citrusy. It's got like um, a fruit pastel sort of smell as well. Like slightly sugared jelly sweets. But it's also got like fresh grass, like freshly cut grass sort of vibes ever so slight weed smell but yeah that citrusy fruitiness in there that is really nice and uh, yeah it's you know nearly in mid-February but I could imagine this just from the presentation and the smells being absolutely perfect a perfect lawnmower beer um, but yeah it smells really really nice so let's give it a taste cheers Oh, that's really, really nice. That is a damn good pale ale. You are picking up those honey flavours. I'm getting a little bit of honey. I'm getting that citrusiness. Very sharp, but not too bitter or sour. Slight grassy notes in there as well. Oh, but yeah, that is really, really nice. That is a first quencher and a half. For a hot day, or if you just want a session because it's 3.5, get yourself, you know, six of these and uh, have a good time because that's absolutely fantastic. That's could be one of my favourite um, Witchwood beers. It's got a nice bitterness at the end as well. But yeah, I like that, that zestiness, like lime, lemons, that sort of thing. And it's got like a nice sweetness as well, but not too sweet, it's not too bitter, not too sour. Crisp, refreshing, clean, all those adjectives. And uh, yeah, which would have done an absolutely fantastic job with this beer. I was expecting like a fairly solid pale ale, that sort of thing, or golden ale, but this is really, really nice. I could imagine this being really gorgeous 
on tap at a pub on like the lakes or something something like that the Marston's pub because I know there's a lot of Marston's pubs in the Lake District from what I've found but yeah sat on the lake on a summer's day fresh crisp and not too warm it's got a nice little breeze and that's a perfect perfect beer to accompany that um, that could have been if I was back here in the UK for summer that could have been easily my go-to beer for like barbecues and that sort of stuff uh, some people won't be as blown away by it. It's not a mind-blowing beer by any stretch of the imagination. It's, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, drinkability is up there. And you could... I want to just finish this beer. Fantastic stuff. Um, if you've not tried it yet, if you're a little bit pessimistic about Witchwood, because I know some people look down on Witchwood, if it wasn't for the Witchwood Brewery, when I first picked up the box... Uh, their like first version of well it wasn't the first version I think because they've obviously been established for a while now but I picked up picked up one of the like um, boxes of character and tried them and that was really where my journey into real ale started so I owe a lot to Witchwood and I know Hobgoblin it doesn't taste as good as it used to um, but yeah this is an absolutely fantastic little beer and one that if you're a little bit pessimistic about Witchwood Give this one a go because if you like your pale ales, if you like your fruity, slightly hoppy beers, give it a go. So I'm going to give this uh, a 9 out of 10. Um, it could be a little bit more fruity for my tastes. It could be in a 10 if it was a little bit more fruity. But um, yeah, it's perfect for this Sunday afternoon. Perfect to just cook, you know, while you're cooking your roast dinner, while you're sat in the garden because it's mild outside. Fantastic beer. 9 out of 10 from me. So, uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about the Witchwood Brewery and this beer in question, I'll put as many references as I can down below. I think a few um, of the regular beer tubers have covered it, so I'll put their reviews down below as well. Uh, check out my other Witchwood beer reviews. Check out my other Golden Pale Ale reviews. Subscribe to the Clueless Drinker channel. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably be uploading a few videos today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next beer review. Very, very pleasantly surprised by this one. Cheers, guys.